Welcome to my Hey Chick online class. I'm so happy that you guys are here. I'm excited to do this class live for the very, very first time. So welcome. Yes, you will get all the materials for free from me to make all six cards. So two of each design. I'm actually just making one for you today, one of each, but you'll be able to make two of each. So keep one, give one away, give them both away, take a picture. So it's fabulous. All of my classes work this way. If you ever sign up for one of my online classes, you get all of the materials for free. So what you need to purchase for this class using the hostess code provided, and if you already own them, order something else because that's why I'm doing it this way. These are the four ink pads that I'm using in this class. I'm using basic black, Melon Mambo, Bermuda Bay, and Daffodil Delight. This is all listed on MyPinkStamper.com. If you have any questions, write that down, MyPinkStamper.com if you guys are new to me. Okay, don't forget, when you order the $50 retail with the hostess code, you'll be signed up for this class. Don't forget to put in the Hey Chick. The item code is on MyPinkStamper.com because we're using this and I'm sending you all the materials. Okay, so these classes are, these cards you'll also need to use. I'm using an aqua painter. You can use a blender pen, but it's a little more, you want it a little more watery for this card. So I'm using an aqua painter. You could probably use a paintbrush with water for this um, to try if you don't own the aqua pens yet. You can just also add these on your order. Okay, this video will be saved to watch later, Julie, and if you sign up for this class with the hostess code, I will email it to you as well, okay? So don't worry, you don't have to come try to find it. It will be on my YouTube. Um, so this, if you guys are watching this on YouTube later, this um, special might be over, but still enjoy this class. If you guys are watching it now, this is going until um, July, I'm sorry, <laughs> what month am I in? To February 2nd, I will be closing the class. Okay, all right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And let's see which card should I start with. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start. Let me, I have these all. Now remember, you're getting the materials to make two of each of these with the envelopes. All right, I like to treat my customers like you deserve to be treated, which is so wonderfully. All right, I'm gonna need my bone folder and my trimmer really quick. And if I need anything else, I might have to walk over there as well. Okay, so this is my paper trimmer, and I've already done all the trimming. And if you guys are taking this class, I will send you the supply list that has all of the sizes that I've used for the cards, and it will have the item codes if you need to order anything again. I do that to all for all of my classes. It's just one of the little perks I do. If you wanna see how to make the card, you have to watch the video though. I don't step it out or walk it out. I don't write it out for you. That's why I like doing my videos. Okay, so I'm going to score this piece of five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock. I'm gonna score it four and a quarter. Set this aside, because I don't think I need it again. I'm only scoring the white. And I'm using my bone folder, okay. Now, where am I? Okay, so let's, let's see. I need this piece here and I need this piece here. Let's start with this piece here. I will again have the, if I don't say the sizes, I'll have them on the PDF or the supply list for those that take my class. And I'm sorry if you're not signing up for my class. If you're on my team, I will post the PDF on our team page as well. So this is the triple banner punch. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this, I believe this is cut at one by two and a half, I'm thinking. Okay, so that's the triple banner. And I will have this already done for you, so don't worry about it. But if you want to use it again, I will have the item code for you to order. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. Now I'm going to pull out my big shot. I don't need the stamps or the ink pads just yet. I'm gonna pull out my big shot here. And I'm gonna do a little big shot work. So I'm gonna use some of my absolutely favorite Framelits, these are back in stock. I wish I knew the item code by heart. If you guys wanna add this for your class. These are the Stitched Shapes Framelits. I love them. I love these so much. I'm using these on two of the cards, my poor assistants, because <laughs> they'll have to do all of that work for you guys. Because, or I will, because I want you to see, sometimes it's better to see them in person, and I just think it makes it better. So I'm using Whisper White, 
And this could just be thin. I don't know why I grabbed the thick, but I did. Okay, so I'm using Whisper White and Melon Mambo. I'm going to use the large stitch, stitched circle. Stitched circle, can you say that 10 times fast? And then I'm gonna use just the second to the largest stitched shape circle. I'm going to put my, is this bothering anyone that's not perfectly in the screen? Are you guys OCD like me? A little bit. <laughs> It's hard to do this all when I, I'm not going to edit it or anything. And my camera is faced a different way because it's Facebook Live. And so it, it's different when I have it sideways. Okay, so I'm going to pop that out. And I don't know, I will save that. I don't know if I need it for something else. Okay, I'm going to pop this out. And then you have on here, can you guys see the stitched? It might be a little fuzzy. It's a stitched circle. And then this one here, I'm going to go ahead and use this on another card. So I'll set it aside. This is a stitched circle as well. And I'm done with these, so I'm gonna clean up as I go so I don't have a huge mess after. Now I'm going to take out, this is my precision base plate on top of my magnetic. If you guys are ordering, and Julie, this is for you, this answers uh, your question today as well. If you guys are ordering a big shot from my shopping page, I will automatically send you a free precision base plate and you can put it on top of the multi-purpose platform that comes with your big shot. This gives you nice, precise cuts, and that's a gift from me for ordering the Big Shot. That's my promotion going on right now. Okay, so now I'm going to put, this is the multi-purpose platform that comes with your Big Shot. I'm going to put this in like this, and I'm using one of our new textured dynamic, dynamic textured um, embossing folders. If you guys remember Cable Knit, this is just like that. It gives you more of a 3D effect. It's deeper, it's thicker and it's called hexagons. So I'm taking my piece of Daffodil Delight and I'm going to put this in here like that. You don't put it in between the sandwiches for the dynamic. You only put it directly on top of your multi-purpose platform. Okay. All right. Thank you guys. Thanks so much. My team members are in there popping in, answering questions. You guys are so wonderful. Thank you so much because I am not seeing all of them. Okay, let's go ahead and put these aside. Sometimes in my classes, I like to do all of the big shot work first, but we will go ahead and just do it card by card for you guys as if you're making them all separately. So look at how amazing this is. So we remember, if you sign up for this class, and all, the only way you sign up, the only way, all you have to do is place a $50 order today, tomorrow, by tomorrow night, using the hostess code, code provided, and I will send you all of the materials. You just need to order the free Hey Chick stamp set, and if you don't have the ink pads, order them. It has to be just a $50 retail order or more. Okay, look at that. Is that wonderful, awesome? Wait, I'm missing your guys' things. Okay. All right, let's see how I have this one. Okay, so this is going this way. Let's go ahead and start stamping now. So for this one, we're gonna start with the basic black ink pad. And we're going to use the fat hen. So I know somebody put, was posting this. I saw them post in a card, this is a rooster. This is a hen. You can pretend they're roosters if you want, but I have chickens now, so I, I do know the difference, believe it or not. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp my chicken. Actually, I don't like that. <laughs> I'm like, I don't like it. I can't really see where I'm stamping. There we go, perfect. There's two sides to every paper. So I have this hen, and then I'm going to stamp, have a happy day. Have a happy day, right here. Just off to the side, and I could have made that a little bit longer, maybe I will for you guys. Maybe I'll cut it at two and three quarters when I make everybody's. Okay, so now let's go ahead and close our black ink pad, and we're going to be using the Daffodil Delight. Now one of the things, if you're new to Stampin' Up, this is how you open them, you click them into place. But there's also this nice palette here where you can simply squeeze your ink pads like this. Squeeze them, squeeze, give them a massage, massage. And then when you open it up, you have ink that's on the lid. And you can use this for water coloring. Are you guys commenting? I don't see your comments. Okay, okay, if you guys comment, comment, because I am reading some of them. So now I'm going to take this here, this is our, like I said, the aqua painter. You can, again, use the um, 
the blender pens there you just I don't I wanted it a little more watery so I'm just gonna do a little bit so I'm gonna do the wing I'm gonna do the top even though I know they're really red because remember I have chickens this is all make-believe they don't have to be accurate and I'm just going to take and put little a little bit of the daffodil on all of the little marks and that's what I love about stamping is you don't have to completely color so that's it that's all I'm just bringing out a little bit of the yellow and then you can just run this clear on a paper towel so and I'm going to use I'm actually using one of our grid paper pads over there that you don't see okay now I'm going to put this together hi Tracy in New Zealand welcome to my live show I'm doing my class today if you guys missed it this is my live hey chick class I have more of the information on mypeakstamper.com today if you're watching this on YouTube you might still be able to see the information over there okay so I'm going to put this right here so I'm going to turn this over put a little bit of adhesive do so you guys see that super easy so I just want to kind of walk you through and I'm just putting this on here I'm just gonna whoops I'm just going to push it on here where it says have a happy day I know I am Don't you like it when people say that there you go okay and now let's go ahead and take our dynamic textured impressioned piece of paper cardstock and we're going to run this is the snail adhesive. I'm gonna run it on all four sides. Oh, I was gonna get a refill, oops. I forgot, I'll have to grab one in a minute. I'm just going to put this on here. And I again, when you take this class, I will have supply a class supply list and it will have all of the sizes on here. Okay, so now I'm going to use some of our dimensionals wherever I put them, here they are. Dimensionals. And did I mention I have a hair appointment? In like an hour and a half so I have to make sure that I'm on time for this video that I'm not going way over hopefully it's easy enough for you guys to follow me um, if you guys haven't seen me in a while if I'm just pulling up in your your Facebook feed Facebook's really weird I've been back for over two years now so don't forget to check out my website. If you guys ever think, oh, what's Robin been doing? Check out my website, mypinkstamper.com. Oh, I wanna put one over there too. I'm here, I'm back. I'm posting lots and lots. I'm making lots of videos. And I'm working with Stampin' Up! now and I'm having the time of my life. I'm loving what I do. Okay, that's it. So you guys will be able to make two just like this. Yay, let's hear clapping. I wanna hear, I wanna see the hearts and the thumbs. Let's see them, let's see them, let's see them. Come on, guys. Yay! Hi, Patsy in Indiana. Okay, so there's one of the cards. You guys are making two of these, so don't forget if you sign up for this class using the hostess code, this is what you will get. Now, I know sometimes you forget the host code. Try not to, but email me if you've forgotten the hostess code for some silly reason. Might not be a silly reason. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is this one right here so you will be making thank you guys oh for me you guys are just so sweet okay so this next one okay i guess i do need my trimmer again because i'm gonna i forgot two of the cards actually it'll be four four that you make you will have to score the thick whisper white at four and a quarter okay just don't forget to do that it just gives you the nice tight crease so this one I'm also using the big shot so I'll pull that out in just a minute okay let me put this aside the only thing that I'm um, I'm not needing those for the big shots this one is also yellow and black are the only colors that you're going to be using so let's pull out our big shot this one we will be using the precision base plate right here Good morning, guys. If you guys are just popping in, welcome to my online live Hey Chick class video. Okay, so I'm going to need just one of these. All right, so I'm using, guess what I'm using? Can you guess? Stitch shapes again. I love stitch shapes so much. Okay, so I'm going to use Daffodil Delight. 
And I need a piece of our Whisper White again. Hopefully this piece is big enough. I don't know if I planned on it. I can go get a scrap if I need to. Okay. I think this is all I need the big shot for cutting. Okay. So I'm using this size oval. My assistant has my larger size down in my front office right now, so I'm not using that. Um, but when you order the stitched shaped framelits, it comes with one set of circles, ovals. I have doubles of everything because my assistant and I, that's how we whip them out faster, You guys, if you are wondering. And then it comes with squares. Okay, so I'm going to use the oval right here. And then I'm also going to be using our layering ovals. If you wondered if the layering ovals, the circles and the squares match up with our new stitched framelits, the answer is yes, they all match up. They nest in each other. They're nesting. Is this the right size? I hope this is the right size. Let me check. Let me do a little, oh no, that's not the right size. I'm glad I checked because <laughs> I think it's this one here. Let me see. Let, whoops, let me check on my cheater. Okay, so I'm using this oval here with the scallops. So when you order the layering ovals, yes, we have a lot of these. You all, it also comes with the smooth and the scallop. So that is with our circles, squares, ovals, and then our sweet and sassy. I think those comes, I think they do come with the, the scallop. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll these this through. And then we will set this aside again and we don't need it again till our third card because we're going to be embossing. Oh no, we will need it, that's right. Okay, so now I have this here. I wanna put them away, I don't know why I did that. And then I have my scalloped, I'm gonna keep this because I will need that for my last card. I have my scalloped oval with the stitched, you see the stitched, so awesome. Um, you don't have to have it taped to the base. Okay, I'm gonna explain something. A lot of you guys have been asking me and I'm, so Robin, why do you have this? So I have this tape on here, right, this washi, because I go and I help at an event in Salt Lake City every, it's like every few months, every, we have like every three months, maybe six months. Um, and I offer to bring my supplies. So I'll bring an extra big shot or two and I'll bring um, stamp sets and you know there's so many people there that we don't want to lose them so I put what we put washi tape on all my stuff so you guys will see sometimes I have washi tape on one of my things okay so you don't need to tape it it just it's mag I have it on the magnetic but if you don't have it on the magnetic it'll just it's fine it doesn't need to be on there permanently okay so let's go ahead and use this one this one we're using the cute little chicken this is actually uh, I think it's called a, is it called a cuckoo I don't remember. I was so into chickens like a year and a half ago, and now I forgot the names. We're using this chicken here. Okay. Uh, I don't know what your question is. What is the number? Marilyn, if you want to email me, I'll look it up for you. Okay. Here we go. So I'm using this one, and I'm going to also use Have a Happy Day. So we'll set those out. And I'm going to be using black. And I'm also using Daffodil Delight. I hear somebody that just came in my door, so a child might be home from school for lunch. We will see. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and stamp that on there. And it, she looks so cute, or he looks, no, actually it could be either or. I don't know if the roosters really stand out that much on that, with that type. Okay, I wanna say silky. But I don't know, is that a silky? Maybe it is. We had a couple silkies once. They're supposed to be so sweet. And the two baby chick silkies we got were so mean. They didn't even like us. So we they just didn't like us. They would peck our hand when we held them. And so we gave them to one of our neighbors. I know, that's so mean. We just only like nice chickens. So if you're a mean chicken, you don't get to stay in my house. I'm sorry. Only nice people allowed. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for helping out, Rachel. I appreciate it. Okay, so this have a happy day that I stamped on this white piece of paper that will come. This this will all be prepared for you guys. We're gonna clean off the have a happy day.
Make sure you clean it really good. This is the Stampin' Scrub. I highly recommend the Stampin' Scrub and the Stampin' Mist. If you don't own them already, they are a necessity in your stamping world. Okay, so I'm using the Daffodil Delight, and I'm going to stamp the Have a Happy Day on the right, and the Have a Happy Day on the left. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. I think I got ink up here anyway, so it's already imperfected. It's not perfect, but that's okay. All right, keep your yellow open like this because we're going to take our aqua painter or your brush or whatever you're using. We're just gonna color the hair like this. No, I don't think this is a hilk. This is not a silky. Silkies are, are, are definitely cuter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, chicken. That was not very nice, was it? There might They might be meaner though. So maybe they're cuter, but sometimes they're meaner. Maybe that'll make you feel better, little chicken. All right, so this is all I'm doing. That's it, and maybe the nose. I'll just do the nose. Don't forget to run it till it's clear because we are going to be using it in Bermuda and in Melon Mambo next, and we don't want it to be have any yellow in it. All right, close that ink pad. How am I doing on time? I have no idea. Look at my cute little bracelet. One of my neighbors brought me this over for my birthday. I feel so special. My birthday was, it was a week ago today, so. I can't like celebrate it anymore. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this together. And remember, you will get the materials to make two of these in addition to the other projects. Okay, so put that on. It fits perfectly, it nests perfectly on there. And we're going to go ahead, since there's no ribbon, we'll start with the bottom. I'm putting this basic black cardstock on top of this I want to say yo-yo yellow. Do you guys remember yo-yo yellow? So we used to have a yellow color and it was called yo-yo yellow years ago. And I used to at my workshops, I used to always say yo-yo yellow. And everyone would just not expect it from me and they'd think it was so funny. But now we have Daffodil Delight. So somebody must have complained. I'm just saying, <laughs> we don't want Robin saying yo-yo yellow anymore. So let's have her say daffodil because you can't say daffodil like that. Um, Okay, all right. Remember, if you guys have questions, you can always, if you're not getting, if I'm not seeing all your questions, you can ask them, you can email them to me after as well. Okay, so I'm putting that there. This is our Designer Series Paper Bright Stack. You guys seen, you're, nobody's laughing. Are you guys laughing at me at all? I'm so sensitive. I'm really not, I promise. I promise. I just, I'm in a room by myself talking. And it's fun doing it live because then I can see your reactions live. Normally I'm just by myself. Yay, there's a laughy emoji. I love it. Okay, you guys think I'm funny. <laughs> so funny. Oh, I crack myself up. I'm so nervous in front of real people. Have you guys heard me say that before? It's so funny because you know, I've, I've, I've done pretty well, you know, for myself. I'm really, I've made a lot of videos. I've made lots of things in the past online. And then in person, it's like crickets. I'm so, I get so nervous in front of real people. I know you guys are real people, but I get so nervous. Okay. Yo, yo, yellow. Here you go. There's the two you guys get to make. So, so far, this is what you'll make if you use the hostess code. This is what you get to make so far for free from me. I will send you all of the class materials, the paper product that are already ready to go for these two. I sound like I'm an infomercial sometimes. I, maybe I should have looked into that as a career. Although, well, I don't see real people, so maybe I, that would have worked. Okay, this is the last but not least card because it's Melon Wombo. I have to have a card with Melon Wombo in it. Okay, well, I, you know what? You guys are not... <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not like you're still there and you're listening and you're watching um, But if I was in a room with you guys I get a little and I used to do that all the time I used to fly out and do events and but you guys already knew who I was So if you guys have met me in an event across the country when I used to travel and do those You guys knew who I was you knew how crazy I was But it's like when I get up in front of people that don't know who I am and they're like, okay, she thinks she's funny She's really not <laughs> Somebody needs to tell her. Okay, so I'm gonna set these aside 
And this is Bermuda Bay. I love Bermuda Bay. I love it, I love it. And I love Island Indigo. I couldn't decide which color I was gonna use on this card. Okay, so this one, we're also going to use the dynamic embossing folder, the hexagon, and then so we need to use the platform. If you guys are just tuning in, I will have this cut down in time so you can just watch the three cards that I'm making. Okay, what, am, what do I need? Where is it? Here it is. So this is the hexagon dynamic folder. I'm going to put the Bermuda Bay inside here. If you've never embossed before, like dry embossed, it is a magical experience. I'm not even kidding. I had my sister-in-law over here. Maybe she's watching this. And I remember showing her embossing. And I'm like, okay, this is it. And it's just like, wow, seriously, you made that. And it's just the neatest thing ever. Okay, ready? And so on this card, so this is the, but we're gonna use this side. Look at you have, this is the great thing about this embossing folder is each side looks completely different. This one, this is popping out. And on this side, this is um, in, going in. Okay, you guys are so sweet. I don't need all of these compliments, but thank you. I won't tell you to stop them, you know me. You know me, right? Okay. <laughs> all right, so we are going to use one more die cut for this card. I'm die cut, we're in one more die. Yeah, it is a die cut. We're, I'm using the precision base again. I'm using a bunch of banners. I wanted to use the Hey Chick. So this is the Hey Chick. Um, the only one I didn't really use is the egg, which I could have easily, but I just didn't. Okay, a bunch of banners is great. This coordinates with a couple of our stamp sets, maybe two or three or four, um, but you can use it even if you don't wanna coordinate. So I needed something small and different. So I'm gonna use this one. Carly's calling me, I am live. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use this scrap. This is the thick because I'm not layering it. And I'm gonna roll this through. Okay, and she calls me again. She's gonna be grounded. Now I'm going to just punch this out and I have this cute little, isn't that super cute? Okay. All right. I hear people here. So we have had our houses settled. And so for the past two weeks, our builder is amazing. We've had this, been in this house for two and a half years and he's, he sent people over to fix it for us, no cost. So if you guys are having a house built in Utah, let me know, I'd love to refer him to you. He's amazing. His company is amazing. He does these parade of homes houses every year, not ours, but he's just a really good builder. He's a really good guy. Okay, so on this one, I'm using the big, the chicken, this is the hen as well. So a chicken can be a rooster or a hen. I'm gonna give you guys a little chicken education here. So usually when it's a rooster, the waddle underneath is really big and red, but it also can be if it's a hen. Does that make sense? But usually on top, it gets a little bit bigger. Anyway, it's hard to tell when they're chicks, but when they grow up, you can, and then they start to crow. But this looks like a hen. This doesn't look like a rooster. Okay, I'm going to stamp that on my piece of Whisper White, and I'm going to stamp, hey chick, hey chick, hey chick. How are you, chick? All right. Now the three colors that we're using are Daffodil Delight, Bermuda Bay, and Melon Mambo. So a reminder, if you don't own these stamp colors, um, you might wanna get them if you're signing up for this class. Um, your bait, no, okay, so I'm gonna explain something. Thanks for bringing that up, Natalie. So this is the very, very old multi-purpose platform. So it goes like this. The new one, and I have one over there. I'm not gonna get it, it's over there. The new one, this tab just comes off. And that's actually better because when this is open, it actually hits my wall sometimes. So don't worry, you've got a good one. You've actually got a better one than mine. Okay, all right. You need more chicken education. What can I teach you about chickens? I used to know everything, but now that I'm they're hard work, I'll be honest. Chickens are a lot of work. If you're going to invest in chickens, plan on it taking a lot of your time in the beginning. Now they don't take as much time because we can feed them and they're good, but when they were babies, ugh, it's like every day, right? Okay, I mean, we feed them every day, but we don't have to watch them as much. So I'm using, this is 
Bermuda Bay, and I'm just kind of doing it on the bottom of this. You can do as much or as little. I'm going to kind of go up a little lot, a little lot. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to run this clean on my, because you don't want it to. If you can see in here, it kind of looks green. It's because I didn't clean my brush out very well when I had the Daffodil Delight on it earlier, like last night. I designed these cards last night for you guys before I went to bed, got to bed on time. I was having one of those productive moments, you know. Okay, so I'm using my Melon Mambo as well. And the great thing about the Aqua Painter is you can, you can really water it out, put the more water it in. It's easier to color, add color into it after, but you just don't really want it too dark the first time because once it's on the paper and it's absorbed, it's hard to get it lighter, but you can always get it darker. So I'm just going to kind of put the pink on here. Oh, I feel so bad. So I was going to say about our house, the, our house is settled and so they've fixed all the drywall. It was like on every floor. Our house looks like a construction zone right now. Um, but there's drywall dust everywhere and I have house helpers. I help call them my house helpers so I can work full time. I, I am paying someone to come in and do some of the deep cleaning that I just don't have time to do working full time. Um, but I feel bad because the last few couple weeks she's been here. It's like she's constantly cleaning up the dust, and I, but we're paying her well for it, but I still feel bad because it's just really messy. Okay. I'm going to squeeze the daffodil. And I'm going to add it, make sure I got on, on the tail of my chicken, my hen. It's still a chicken, but it's a hen. She's a hen. She's a girl. And her name is, I don't know, something cute. My chicken names were so cute. Do you guys remember my chicken names? And I still have all of those chickens. Little Poe. Poe's my favorite. I went out there last week to do something, and Poe jumped on my shoulder. So cute. She's just, she's a bantam. I don't let my big ones jump on my shoulder anymore because they're too big for that. I'm like, get off my shoulder, you're too big for that. But my chickens are really nice. None of them really attack or, or peck me or anything. I, I treated them really, really well when they were babies. Okay, enough chicken talk. <laughs> okay, it's time to put this card together and see what we've got here. So I'm going to do this here. Okay, before we get interrupted, I feel like we're going to be interrupted soon. Okay, so we're gonna remember, anytime you put them something through paper that's embossed, you wanna put your adhesive on all four sides. And the reason being is if you only put it on the four corners, it's gonna get all wiggly because it's embossed. It's all textured now, it's all purdy. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this on here. Put this on our paper. And then I'm going to use a little strip of our I'm using, I love using my designer series paper stack. This is also from the Bright Stack. And I'm gonna put this about right here across. And then I'm going to take some dimensionals. Where did you go? Here you are. And I can fit two on here because I practiced last night, remember? And I know they fit. And then I'm going to put four. One, two, three, four. Who do we appreciate? I know that's not how it goes, but I'm kind of getting in one of those modes. You know, Robin modes. Do you guys watch my random Robin one night? So one night I didn't tell anyone and I just went on and I was singing, I was crazy. I was a little hyper. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put my Hey Chick on first. Hey Chick, just kind of make sure that it's centered with the sides. And this goes right here. And then we're going to take, I'm going to use, I'm going to use my bone folder here. Okay, so I, I did answer this. For those of you that are watching that are on my team, I'm not doing team packets for this class just because I already have my other class that I'll be posting tonight and tomorrow that I will do team packets for, the high tide. I'm not doing them for this one, okay? So I hope you guys will forgive me. All right, so these are all of the cards for the class. Look at these. Aren't these adorable? I know you guys are like, oh my goodness, so adorable, Robin. But I know you're not talking like that because that's my valley girl, unless you are a valley girl. Okay, so these are the cards. If you've never taken one of my online classes, they're so fun, they're awesome. I give you guys all of the materials to make these cards, plus the envelopes for free. You guys should totally sign up for one of my classes. I make it worth it 100%. 
Okay, I'm gonna 